Hello, I'm Amanda from 3 and 3 quarters and today I'm going to show you how I make hexes. What are hexes you say? Hexes, short for hexagons, are an English paper piecing method where you join different bits of cardboard hexagons wrapped in fabric or basted to fabric um, and you sew them together to create something like this. This is my iPad cover all made from hexagons or this my hexi pillow you can make some really awesome stuff out of hexies never made them before check this video out and I'll show you how it's all done when I'm making hexies there's a particular size that I love to make and it's two and a half inch hexies this is a template that I use this is from a set of different uh, templates that I have that look like this it comes in all different sizes. There's one that's really quite small. This is a one inch hexi. And then this one is a five inch. So you can kind of see the difference in size. This particular size I love to use. And I use this to trace out uh, the size that I want. So the type of cardboard that I use, it's just like cotton cardboard. Um, this is from a Cruskets box um, but I usually like to use um, like the cereal boxes and, and stuff like that it's a really manageable sort of cardboard it's not too thick it's not too light and it keeps its shape when you are basting it with the needles so in this video I'm going to show you the steps from tracing out the hexi on the cardboard to cutting it out and then basting the fabric onto the hexi I'm going to show you up to this point this is um, a hexi that has, oh look, it totally hides my face, that is basted just with um, really cheap cotton and that's what it looks like on the back. So I'll show you how to do that nice and neatly. Just want to let you know that different quarters have different ways of doing it, so this is just the way that I like to do it. If you have a different method of doing it or you've seen another method that works for you, then go for that. But this is just what works for me and I get beautiful, pretty, pristine... Uh, hexes out of it. So I suppose let's get started and we'll go through each step and and produce some lovely pretty little hexes. Yeah. Okay so here's my setup. I've got my cardboard, pencil, some cardboard scissors, not fabric scissors because you'll blunt them. This is my lovely stack of templates. Um, some pins because I'm going to need those. Scissors and thread for when we start basting. And the fabrics that I'll be using. So I've just got a couple uh, of scrap fabrics, so some DS fabrics, um, an Amy Butler fabric here, and a cute little spot that I, from Matilda collection I've got. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to choose my two and a half inch template and I'm going to trace it. So once we've got to this stage, we want to cut these little hexes out, so let's do that. So there are our four little paper hexagons and we're going to begin to base them now. So I'm going to get some fabric and on the back side of the fabric, that's the right side, that's the back side, I'm going to pop this on like that grab a pin and then I'm just going to stick it in and pin it on. Alright, now the next step requires uh, some fabric scissors which I've got here. And what we want to do is we want to cut about a quarter inch uh, just around the sides so we'll show you what that means. Just a rough quarter inch seam, just do it by eye, like so. So you have a hexi like that. Okay, so here are my four hexes ready to be basted. They've all been cut, and what I'm going to do is I've got a needle and thread just here. I just use really basic, really cheap thread. Uh, because you're actually going to be taking out these stitches, so don't go wasting your good stuff. We're ready to baste our hexi together. So what I've got is I've got the head of the pin here, and then I'm going to start on this side here. So fold that over, hold it 
nice and taut, don't pull it too hard because um, you don't want the cardboard to bend. We've got um, some thread here, it's got a knot at the end. We're going to bring the thread up through the back and then up. And then at our corner, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck that little edge in there and then fold it over like so. Put the needle through all of those layers in that corner and pull it nice and taut. And then continue on to the next side. Needle up through there. And then fold this one over. Bring the needle through. Watch out for your fingers. Fold that edge over, needle up, turn around, fold the edge over, up through that side again. It gets really quite um, easy once you've done it a couple of times, so don't worry if you make a mistake the first time. And once you get used to it, it can be actually really quite relaxing just sewing all of these together. It's a good little thing to do when you're watching TV. Uh, so now that I'm at this stage, this is the last sort of edge I need to do. I'm going to take this needle, the pin out, and fold this corner over. And I'm holding it nice, quite nice and taut, but not too um, tight that the cardboard is bending. Pull that through, pull that one down, hold it nice and tight with your thumb up and then this last corner, it's a little bit fluffy there, I'm just going to fold that one under and then bring this one over the top like so, bring the needle through all those layers and then I like to finish it by bringing my needle back up like so, and then cutting off just a little tail, like that. And there's your little hexi, ready to be sewn to another one. Okay, so here are our hexies. They look very, very sweet. I forgot to mention before that making hexagons is a great way to use up a lot of your scrap fabric. When you're cutting to make uh, a project and you have leftover fabric, keep it, don't chuck it out because it's gold and you can make hexagons. It's a really, really bad habit to get into because you'll just have tons and tons and tons and tons of fabric everywhere, but that's okay. Because you can make these sweet little things and then eventually make a pillow like this. So I'll do another video soon showing you how to piece these uh, little things together. It's really, really easy. If you want to give it a go, it's just whip stitching the sides together. So you put them pieces together, get a needle and thread and you just whip stitch it. I usually do it in a white or a cream thread. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions just pop them in the comment box. I'm more than happy to answer them. If there's anything else you would like to know how to do, just, just ask and I'll see what I can do for you. Give me a like, give me a comment, give me whatever. Share the love. Share the video with friends who are always asking, how do you do that? How do you make hexagons? What's English paper piecing all about? Show them this video and they will know. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. See ya. Stop saying um. 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 Uh, um. 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 What? Uh, it's the quilt nerdy me. I can't help it.